Hi, I want to show you how I shape a cinnamon raisin bagel. So I portioned my dough and two bagels into the amount I need for each bagel. And then I pour cinnamon over it and I rub it onto both sides and I push raisins into it. The other way to do it is to just make the dough with the cinnamon and the raisin incorporated into it. I do it this way because I'm often doing multiple types of bagels and not just one full batch. So like this batch I did half cinnamon raisin and half cheesy jalapeno. So I incorporated the ingredients after I made the dough. So after I have it flat, I fold all of the edges in, trapping those raisins in there. And I, I actually tried to teach my mom how to do this with a bagel the other day and she couldn't get this next part and it was hilarious. So I actually had her do it several times and then I took it away because I need to keep moving. <laughs> She's going too slow. Sorry, mom. <laughs> She'll get it someday. So after I flipped all the edges in, I pinched it together so that it's a ball. That's the other part that it's apparently a little bit hard. Sorry, mom. Your bagels are kind of ugly. <laughs> and I flip it over and I hold it on the palm of my hand kind of towards uh, my fingers like this this part of the area right here and then I take my other hand and I'm using the pinky side I'm using that edge to push the dough push the dough underneath and roll my hand or slide my hand down so that it pushes the dough underneath and tightens it into a ball so I'm tightening the bagel ball. Now I don't want to do this too tight for this type otherwise I'll pull all the raisins underneath and into one spot so I need them to stay kind of spread out. If I'm doing like plain dough however I'll often get it pretty tight and then let it rise back up. So let me show you again. <laughs> my mom couldn't get that for the life of her and I was dying. It was so hilarious. Okay so I have my bagel dough. I'm holding the edge in all the way around it and then once I get all those edges in it kind of looks like that I'm gonna just wherever I can see kind of gapping I'm bringing it all together into the center that's kind of my first shape and I'm pinching it so it's kind of an ugly little ball at this point so now I put it on my palm and I tighten it and roll it across my hand. Now, one of the things my mom was doing, she was trying to roll it this way. You don't roll it that way. The top stays up the entire time. It twists in your hand. It does a little pirouette. So you're rolling it so that the top is staying the top the whole time. I'm just pushing it underneath and spinning it in a circle. And that makes it so that it is a nice, tight, round, nice shaped bagel. And then it's gonna rise, and then I'll push my fingers straight down to make the hole. So that's how you shape it. <laughs> Bye everyone.